friends, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing a book haul. <laughs> so I have quite a few books I wanted to show you really quick. I got all of these this month and I am super excited. So let's just get right into the haul. The first book that I got is Seeker. Now this is by Kim Chance, who is a fellow author tuber here on YouTube. Um, and this is the sequel to her book Keeper. This is a part of a duology, so the series is now complete. Basically, this first book follows Lainey, who finds out she's a witch, and she's got to do a bunch of stuff to save her family. And this is the kind of continuation of that book. It is actually good. I actually think Seeker was much better than Keeper, but it was a pretty decent book. I actually only purchased this one because I have Keeper, and I received Seeker as like an e-arc on NetGalley. I also listened to the last couple chapters in the audiobook just to see how that one turned out. I do like it and I mostly just picked it up though because I didn't want to not have like both books on my bookshelf. <laughs> Second book is this one which is Hocus Pocus and the all new sequel. If you don't know what Hocus Pocus is you are definitely living under a rock. It's basically these three witches come back out one night and this you know teenage boy his young sister and the girl he has a crush on have to Banish the Witches. And the sequel, from my understanding, is follows the main character and his girlfriend, but now in the future when they are married and have a child, and I think their child brings the Sanderson sisters back out. So I actually have two copies of this book. One is for me and my kids, and the other one is my giveaway. So I will leave a link to the video down below where I talked about my giveaway and how to enter. So if you wanna pick up this book, you can totally enter my giveaway and I will send it to you. Now we get into the books I'm super excited about. This one is super hyped on booktube and that's pretty much the only reason I picked it up. This is The House of Salt and Sorrows. Like this book is gorgeous. It's been sitting back here on this little stand here because I just love the way it looks. It's such a beautiful book. It has very fall vibes for me in terms of like the colors and the cover. You care about the actual story. <laughs> From what I gather, it is a retelling of the 12 dancing princesses, and it follows Anna Lee. Like, four of her sisters have died, and people say that it's because they have a curse. But she believes that there's something more sinister going on, and that these deaths are not accidents. And so she is on, you know, a mission to find out what is happening to her family before any of her other sisters or herself die as well. I've heard that it is really good, it is very dark, and... I love dark things. Next is The Whisper Man. So this was one of my book of the month uh, picks for the month of October. It sounds super creepy. So basically this dude's wife dies and him and his son move to a new town to get a fresh start. Now shortly after they move there, a little boy goes missing. And part of the town's like history is that there had been this serial killer who called himself The Whisper Man <laughs> because he used to lure people out by whispering at their windows at night and then he would kill them so he's been caught he's in prison but now another little boy goes missing and these two detectives have to try to figure out what's going on is this a copycat or the work of an accomplice and while they're investigating the man's son jake starts acting really strange because he says that there has been a man whispering at his window so it just sounds super creepy and as a mom like the fact that it has to do with this boy this man's little son is just no no i also picked this up mainly because i feel like this would be a really good book that my husband might like i'm really excited to read it because i have gotten so into thrillers over the last year now this is probably the book that i am most excited for aside from the silent patient i think this is probably one of the most hyped like thrillers that is on booktube right now and that is the Turn of the Key by Ruth Ware. So basically, this woman gets a job as a nanny in a smart home. It's written as she's writing like letters to her lawyer trying to explain like I that she's innocent and explain what happened. So essentially, she gets this job as a nanny and things start going very strange in the house and one of the children ends up dead. She has now been charged for this child's murder or death or something and she's saying like no i am innocent i did not do this and she's telling her story what i don't know and what you know seems a little bit is like the whole idea is is this something 
creepy in terms of like this artificial intelligence that is in this home has gone bad and is what caused this death or is there something more supernatural involved both of which would be incredibly terrifying I don't know which one I almost feel like the house going bad is even scarier because we have all the smart home equipment in our homes now we have houses that are completely run on smart technology and that is super creepy not gonna lie the last few books that I purchased I bought just because they are pretty <laughs> these first two I bought for my husband I got him Frankenstein which I'm really excited because he's never actually had a copy of Frankenstein before these are all paper mill press I will say I was a little disappointed when I got them because the texture feels really weird like to actually hold it it's not very comfortable the pages are really dry and stiff the cover is really stiff and it's it just has this weird texture to it so these are definitely more for aesthetic reasons <laughs> but I got him Frankenstein I also picked up Dracula so these will go on my husband's shelf because they're from my husband so for me my pretty books would be Jane Austen Pride and Prejudice this is really pretty it's blue and pink I think I would have actually liked it better if it wasn't pink um like I think this would look really pretty if this was like a cream color or something but either way it's still a very beautiful color and I love the blue and I've never had like such a beautiful copy because this is one of my favorite classics of all time I also picked up Withering Heights because I do love this book as well um, and this again same it's dark gray with that kind of like green which is funny because my other copy of Withering Heights is a green hardback so this one is very beautiful as well of a really good classic story and my favorite I have mentioned this more than once I believe and that is that Jane Eyre is my absolute favorite book of all time and I have multiple copies I want to say this is like my fourth copy of Jane Eyre and this one out of all of the pretty books is the most beautiful because it's got the white back around and then just the the purple writing so I just feel like this is so clean and beautiful and will look amazing just really to be this is just to be displayed all of them this is the easiest one like I could actually read this one it doesn't have that same like weird texture that the other ones have I mean it does a little but not nearly as bad and these pages are a lot softer so I still don't think I'll read it though because this one really is just to look beautiful on my shelf that is all of the books that I got this month where did I get all these okay so seeker and the hocus pocus books I got on Amazon the Whisper Man and Turn of the Key I got from Book of the Month, which I do have a link down below. Never done Book of the Month. It is $14.99, I believe, um, a month, and you get one book. You can also add a second book for only $10 when you're ordering. I love Book of the Month. I've been doing that for a while. Some of my favorite books that I've read this year have been Book of the Month pick. I do have a link down below, and I believe if you use my link, you get something I think you get a free book yeah so you get your regular book of the month pick and then you get a second book for free and I get a free book so you should definitely use the link and we can get some free books and that would be awesome all my pretty books I got from book depository I hope you enjoyed this book haul definitely leave a link down below and tell me out of all the books that I hauled which one would you be most excited to read don't forget to enter my giveaway and of course if you are new to this channel thank you well thank you to everybody for watching <laughs> um, but if you're new thank you for watching this video as well um, please subscribe I do both author tube and I'm now transitioning into a hybrid author tube slash book tube channels you can follow my writing process along with what i'm reading <laughs> um with that go write some words and read a book and i will catch you guys in the next video bye thanks for watching please swing to my mom thanks for watching subscribe to my mom